This is how to play on the Minecraft demo. Now first what you have to do is obviously download the Minecraft launcher. Once you've done that you can download that from the Microsoft Store which is what I would recommend. Then you got all three Minecraft games in here. You got Minecraft Dungeons, you got Windows, and you got Java. Now for two of them you can actually play on the demo which will allow you to get a little taste of the game before you actually buy it. And also, if you haven't seen my other video, coming summer of 2022, you can actually get two for the price of one. So if you have one of them, you can get the other one for completely free. So just keep that in mind, or you can play with Game Pass and get both with that as well. But nonetheless, Minecraft Java Edition, you can get the demo for that right here. And all you have to do is log into an account just simply a microsoft account and then you can play on the demo here and if you were to click on for minecraft for windows you can press play on the demo right here which is both pretty cool now obviously you want to pick which one you actually wanted to play but obviously both of them you can play for free in the beta slash demo version of them so if i were to click play demo on minecraft for java as you can see, it will load me into the demo version of the game. And if you want to try out the demo version of the game, if you already have uh, Minecraft for Java Edition for some reason, what you have to do is just simply make a new account, which is pretty easy, and I'll go over that a little bit later. But as you can see, within the demo, you can play a demo world. You can't really go on multiplayer or anything, but you get all the options and are able to set a demo world. Once in that, it will just load up a random world. You won't really get any settings options for this, but it is pretty good to test out if you actually like Minecraft before you buy it. And there's a pretty good gesture from Microsoft to let you guys know if you actually want to buy the game. But obviously there's more than just one world, you know, you can just try to do this. But as you can see, the demo lasts 5 in-game days, which is about an hour and 40 minutes of real time. And you can just do this, obviously, if you want to purchase it, that will take you to the purchase screen. But you basically just want to press continue playing. It will spawn you in with a free chest of loot, and you'll be able to play for an hour and 40 minutes. Now obviously if you want more time, just make a new account and repeat until you actually want to buy it. But obviously, I'd really recommend you buying this since it is a great game. And also considering you can get two for the price of one coming summer of 2022, which is just a few months away. Now, obviously, it will keep on repeating that in chat that you will only get a certain amount of time, but I'm pretty sure that's a good amount of time, especially since you can repeat this by making a new account. But obviously, this is pretty cool. You can just survive in your survival world. You cannot use commands like a game mode, creative, all that stuff. You can only do that if you press escape, then open to land. Then once you do that, allow cheats to on, and then you can also set this to creative. And then if you start a land world, you can simply go into game mode to create it. And as you can see, now you can unlock all of creative mode with all of the stuff that they may have not wanted you to originally access. So just go through land mode if you really want to go into creative and play with all of the stuff before you obviously get kicked off. But this is one of the pretty cool ways to do it. I will also be showcasing the Benrock demo, which is Minecraft for Windows 10 slash 11 now, I guess. So uh, let's head into that. Also, you may notice on the top right, it'll say time remaining. And then obviously you have to wait out that time. But try to use the most of it if you're actually determining whether you want to buy this game. But once again, I'd really recommend it. But now on to the Bedrock demo. And one more thing I wanted to mention is that if you were to actually leave the game, you could pause the timer. So you do not need to stay in there for the hour and 30 minutes straight. You obviously can extend it however you want by just leaving the game. But now on to Minecraft for Windows. Now Minecraft for Windows will be different for you because I already own Minecraft for Windows. But I'm going to be showing you guys how to actually install it via the Microsoft Store since I can actually show that way. But obviously there will be no gameplay since I already own it and for some reason is not letting me do it even with a different Microsoft account. But anyways, if I were to go to the Microsoft Store, as you can see, I can press on free trial. And then I can easily just play the free trial from there. So I can just simply click on it and it will download it and I can just play the free trial. Once again, it will be similar to how Java Edition is placed. 
and it will be uh, via the launcher or even the Microsoft Store if you want to do it. Either one works perfectly fine. Now this is how to get there. It is pretty simple. You just go through the Minecraft sections. Whichever you want to just search it up or do you want to actually go through the news tab, it does not really matter. But then once you actually find it, you can just easily install it and you will be all good. Now, if I were to load up into Minecraft, as you can see, I already own it, so obviously it won't be any different to me. But, if I were to actually show you an image that is up on screen right now, it will look something like that. It will actually show you that it is a beta on the home screen, similar to how Java Edition does it, and basically tell you, hey, you will actually have a limited amount of time to play, but buy the game if you really do like it. Which, once again, I do recommend if you actually are thinking about buying it, or even just like watching Minecraft content in general. It is a very fun game to play, and I just think it's really cool. And the last thing I wanted to show you guys is actually how to use a Minecraft account to actually get into the demo version. Now this is if you already own the Minecraft versions and just want to get onto a demo version, for Minecraft for Windows, it's going to be a little bit different and I'll just roughly explain how I think you can do it, but I can easily show you how to do it for Java Edition. So first what you're going to want to do is click on the top left where it says your Microsoft account. Once here, you're going to click on view all accounts or log out. So right now I'm just going to press log out since that is the easier way and it'll prompt me with this screen. Now I can click on Microsoft login and it will automatically log you in. Now what you're going to want to do is actually click on switch account. So just cl simply click switch account right over here. Then once you're here, you can just make a new account by clicking on use a different account or use an existing account that does not have Minecraft on it. So if you were to click on a use a different account just like this and click on continue, it will prompt you with making one. And as you can see, you can create one right over here which is pretty simple you can just use anything and if you need a new email address you can just click on get a new email address so if you just want to make a quick one that does not have any connection to you you can just simply do this now just type in anything but obviously it's going to need to be something unique so add a bunch of numbers at the end or just type in random letters and then continue through that whole process which is pretty easy and took me about like a minute or two to actually complete so uh, it is actually a pretty simple process but now the other way to actually do this is by going into uh, the same place and then clicking on view all accounts in the view all accounts section you can simply click on switch account right up here and go through the same exact process it's just a matter of how you get there which is easier but Anyways, uh, that's the end of this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Share it with a friend if they want to know how to play on the Minecraft of Java Edition. And if you want to play with them, you can try to get on a LAN server with them. But obviously, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Out.